Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to share with you how to crop images to remove unnecessary parts and to create the correct dimension or measurement of the picture. So, for instance, if you're going to print passport size, 2x2, 1x1, or 4x6 portrait or landscape. So, in Microsoft Word, you can simply create a reference shape for the correct dimension. So, to create, you just simply click insert. So, for your reference, you click shapes. And then you choose, for example, rectangle. So click rectangle and then draw the rectangle where you want the picture to paste. Okay, so for instance, this one, release your left mouse button. And then next you click shape fill and then you click no fill. Okay, so next you set the correct dimension of this shape for your guide so that you can put picture inside that frame. So you set the correct dimensions here. Aside from looking at your horizontal and vertical roller in Microsoft Word, this one. So you can click here at the size. So size actually is under the format tab. You click this one to customize the size. Okay, so here for your height, you type here, for example, passport size 45 mm millimeter and then your width is 35 mm millimeter. Okay, so then you click okay so this time the default actually for the unit of measurement in microsoft word is in inches you can see 1.77 and 1.38 inches so to check if this is the correct dimension for a passport size you can use the calculator in computer here at the search box you can type calc and then you can see calculator application so you click this calculator and then this time we are going to check if that is the correct conversion in millimeter, the 45 millimeter and 35 millimeter in the equivalent in inches. Okay, so to check here a calculator, you can use actually here at the bottom, you can choose the length. Okay, so length converter calculator. Okay, so here is in inches and you want to convert it in millimeter, so you choose millimeter. Okay, so you type here in inches 1.77 in inches okay so in millimeter that's for 44.958 so that's actually when you round up that's 45 so that's okay so next is the 1.38 so to check 1.38 you clear this one and then you type 1.38 so in inches that's 35.052 in millimeter so meaning that is the correct dimension for the passport size Okay, so we can analyze this one and you have already the reference shape for a passport size. So this is the reference that you're going to paste your picture. Okay, so for example, I have already copied the picture. I'm going to paste here the raw picture. Okay, so this is my picture. So to resize this one, just simply click the picture and then you can click here at the layout options so that you can easily move the picture and then you can click this one send behind text okay so click this one for the format then click outside okay so zoom out okay you can resize the picture you make sure that when you resize you by pointing at the resizing handles you hold down the shift to retain the proportion of the picture while resizing so hold down the shift while you resize next zoom in look at your guide here you you can overlap the picture at the guide here and you can resize you make sure when you resize at the corner you hold down your left mouse button to retain the proportion so okay you are resizing but not distorting the portion of the picture okay so this time you can now craft the picture you can double click the picture double click anywhere and then craft okay so this time you can now craft the picture Okay, so I'm going to reposition, double click again, rough. Okay, so click outside and then move again the picture. You can use the arrow key to move down, pressing the arrow key. Okay, so this time, come in so that you have a clear view. Double click again the picture, not the frame. Rough again, remove the necessary part of the picture. Make sure you fit it in the order of the rectangle, rough. Okay, so it fits on frame. Okay, so I will click till half. Okay, so this is actually, you print this one, 45 millimeter by 35 millimeter. This is exactly fit on uh, ID. 
Okay, so you can now copy and paste this one. If you want to have a multiple copy, just click the picture and then copy this one. You can here, you can now delete the frame. Okay, so then you click here, copy, paste, 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 and click align and click align middle. Okay, so this time you can really move to position the picture, remove one picture. Okay, select all, click picture hold down the shift click 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 and then click align align middle and align again and then click distribute horizontally okay so that's how to arrange picture okay so for example you want to print by one you do the same you click insert make another frame okay click the rectangle and then you draw a rectangle the same click shift fill no fill then here you click the size you can type here one one so one inch by one inch and then you click okay so you have already a frame for the one inch you can actually use this picture you can copy this one copy face okay and you can move here to craft position here or you can resize down the shift do not forget when you resize okay so for example that one you can craft double click the picture you can zoom in to have a clear view Click craft and then crop the picture. Okay, and then click outside. And you have already one by one picture. So that's how to easily resize to create the correct dimension of the picture you're going to print in Microsoft Word. Okay, so you can copy and paste this one and then paste okay so for instance this one you can reposition here okay select all click down the shift click, click, click picture while holding down the shift key and you click format and then set, do the same align then align at the middle and then you distribute align and then distribute horizontally okay so, so you can move actually the group of picture okay so that's how to it or to make a correct dimension to print picture. thank you so much for watching